wide overtone wind and it's extremely windy so let's see how this recording goes so we are on the fifth day of the wave of white mirror and the fifth day or point on the wave because waves can be 13 days or 13 years or they can represent a lifetime so the fifth point on the wave is the core purpose of the wave so the message then, if we can decode it, is that the truth is that we are spiritual beings having a human experience. I'm saying it again. So today is white overtone wind. Overtone tone is um, overtone, meaning it's blended the previous four tones and this new energy, this fifth energy, together and creating an overtone of those energies. And what are those energies? So there's that magnetic energy, which is focus and attraction and single pointedness. And that magnetic energy is about purpose. So it's focusing us in a direction. And then we moved into the lunar energy, which was challenge, polarity, duality, opposition. And of course we need that for growth. You know, as the cell starts to divide, it's, it's, it's growing. So it's part of the growth process. And then we move into the electric energy, the three energy, which is dynamic. It's bonding those two opposing energies together and creating movement. And then we grounded yesterday in the four energy of self-existing, self-existing form and definition. And now we've moved into the next level, which is dynamic. So we've moved back into dynamic energy, the fifth energy, empowerment, the empowerment that comes from having all those energies together. And wind represents the breath, the breath and the breath of life, the prana and the communication and great spirit. And so it is a day for us to receive the message and communication of spirit connecting with our soul. Breathing takes us into our being and allows us to connect with our soul. In the breathwork that I do, the dynamic breathwork that I do, it's all about bringing in more oxygen and energy through dynamic breathing that allows the light body, the soul body, to come back into the physical body. And that is a process of releasing the traumas and distortions that are keeping us fragmented and separated. And so on this journey of truth that we're on, it's all about reconnecting to the truth of our spiritual being and seeing the whole of reality through that filter, through the filter of our spiritual intelligence, which allows us to understand this crazy reality, because <laughs> it makes sense at that level, but not at this human level. And so that's where we are. We, we began a larger 13 year cycle of a white mirror in 2017 till 2030 and we're in the fifth year of that so this day is corresponding to the fifth year that we're in so this is very interesting and it's interesting that it's super windy today that um, we can tune in to what this year is about from the point of view of white overtone mirror and white overtone wind together which are coinciding today and so we want to breathe in and connect and rise up with that breath with that air attain a higher perspective of what's going on the supporting energy of the day and white wind is red earth so being in nature and nature calibrates our breath we're out in nature and we end up breathing better than when we're in an unnatural environment. Most of us are in unnatural environments and our breath is being held and we're not breathing properly and therefore not bringing our spirit into our being so that we can connect with it and navigate our reality with that connection. And the hidden power of wind is storm and this is this allowing the energy to move. So as we breathe, we allow the energy to move. And as we allow the energy to move, we are in the flow state with the divine. So these are some of the messages of today. And 
It's the challenge of the day is yellow human. So it's a day to really sort of step out of your human and connect more with your higher self and your soul and do things to reinforce that connection, whether that's breath work or meditating or walking in nature, whatever it is, but actually being mindful of your breath and really tuning in to how it's speaking to you and allowing yourself to empower yourself through your breath by listening to can I breathe in, am I breathing out longer than I'm breathing in, all of these things are communicating where you're at with your body and your body is the temple of your soul so you need to connect with your body to connect with your soul so going off into your head and meditating and going out of your body is not necessarily the best way to embody, to embody your spirit and bring your spirit into the physical reality and therefore bring heaven to earth because that's how we do it. If each of us, it, our body is a temple of our soul and each of us is a pillar of this temple, if we all bring our higher selves and our spirit into our body so there's no longer a separation and we're able to listen to thy will is my will on the spiritual realm, we can bring heaven to earth because that's all that it is. That's all that heaven on earth represents is that we are no longer forgetting that we are spiritual beings and we are creating from that knowing which is creating from truth and love.